Hello, my name is Lance Wiesby, you can call me Lance and welcome to this video. Um, in the last speed paint video, some people asked me how I grouped my brushes in, in groups like these, like mountains, mist, and cliffs and dunes and yeah. Um, so I will cover that in this video and I will also um, tell you some other things. Um, so if we head over to help about and go to change log, this would be the place where you could have read how to do this yourself and why I'm starting with this in the video is because as world painting becomes more and more advanced small little things sort of tweakish things like these how to group things in, in, in groups um, these are things which are in the change log and the change logs for every version aren't that long but it's it does really pay off if you read them so I would very much like to stress the fact that you should read the change log for every World Painter update. Um, because as I said, as World Painter becomes more and more advanced, these small little changes, they, they, they pass by and you don't even, don't even notice them. Um, but they do have effect on how you might or would use World Painter. Um, especially on a really elementary level, advanced level. Um, there are some really good things in the change logs. Um, so yeah, definitely read change logs. But yeah, how do you create these groups? Well, I'm just going to the open, I'm going to tools, open custom brush fold to show the custom brush fold that I have. And um, so this is the contents in my custom brush folder. Um, and yeah, so how do you get here? If you do percent you sign app data, scroll all the way down to World Paint, you click it, click World Paint the folder, then you see this in front of you, then you click brushes again, and then you get in the brushes folder. And I have another layer of depth in my brushes folder, and that's just for my personal convenience, it's not necessary. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got some compressed folders in this uh, map as well. That's because there here are some outdated brushes in these I'm not sure if well these might be up to date but here are some older brushes as well and um, I don't want to throw anything away it's just it's a few megabytes so why would throw it away might need it in the future sometime and um, also some just some dingbats and um, like in the rice paddy tutorial you saw how I painted um, a dragon and a tiger and a sort of yin yang symbol on um, on the rice fields which were just using brushes and um, so this is the brush for the yin yang thing um, and I just throw these into folders as well might use them for future in future projects so um, but if they are compressed in these zip folders they won't show up in this menu because world painter doesn't um, open compressed folders so there's that and um, as you can see there are some some Zelda brushes <laughs> which is just a picture and you can see that they are in this menu um, they don't have any header they're just in the top level custom brushes so um, they didn't get any custom name not not like these groups um, but you can see that they are in the menu and if we go deeper and go into my brushes folder you see canyons cliff dunes misc mountains canyons cliffs dunes misc and mountains so these line up perfectly um, and this is where I've grouped all my uh, world painter brushes. And um, what is there anything else to tell about? Well, um, in this menu, it's always free wide. So if you want to conserve as much space as possible, like I might have had, I think I had a tenth mountain brush, but I deleted the one I liked the least because if I um, world paint on full screen, this will actually wrap underneath all of these brushes. Um, but that extra icon will actually push it that the sidebar expands and um, which is annoying because then I have less of a view to will paint with so there's that so I would personally do them in multiples of three and um, the reason why I did neglect this with dunes is because um, I'm still I'm still perfecting my own set of brushes um, and dunes are very uh, there's a lot of variation in dunes there's the Sahara dunes, there's coastal dunes, there is um, 
this is called a Barkhan. Barkhan dune, yeah, and just linear dunes. And there's a lot of variation in dunes. Uh, just if you look it up in up on Wikipedia, there are like seven distinctly different types. And I'm still wanting to make a star dune, and uh, then I'll have my set complete, I think. Um, so yeah, and how do you? You can even control in which order they the brushes are put. If I open up my custom brushes folder again, um, if we look at the canyons. Um, we see sort of this big image is uh, the first in line here. So it follows the order in this folder, if you uh, check it. And um, the way I, I controlled the order in which these are put is by numbering them. Because Windows, well, the way things are grouped, alphabetical order. Um, so yeah, that's how you can even further control uh, in which order the brushes are in this menu and why did I put them in this particular order it's again for my personal convenience this is a really big brush it is like one point and click uh, make yourself a Kenyan mountain range and the size of this one is really really huge and this one is a lot smaller because this is just one sort of mountain range and it goes from bigger to smaller this is also why um, this, well it's not the only reason but a lot of these brushes have a sort of um, uh, how to use them uh, to them. They are not just point and click and everything will do sort of brushes. Um, and because I created this own set, I know how to use every one of these, every single one of these brushes, how they are intended to use. And I'm not saying that people can't learn this, but um, as for world painters, they're quite protective of their brushes because basically this will make brushes make your workflow so much more efficient and um, just giving your set away well just leveling the playing field I guess and these brushes take a lot of effort did take me a lot of effort to make I guess it's like um, at least eight hours of t time work in these brushes so um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not giving them away lightly. I'm the only one with this particular set. I think. Um, I think this mountain is straight from the internet. This one as well, and this one too. Other than that, all of these uh, are custom. This one might be from the internet as well, and this one. So yeah, that's 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 about it. That's the only brushes which are straight from the web, and the rest I created and manipulated myself till the point that I personally liked them so um, yeah so that's that's about it for all the ooh, that's about it for all the custom brushes I think uh, anything else to tell about well if you want to create some custom brushes yourself um, let's let's show it again um, they are just they use a height map again um, the whiter it is the higher it will be the darker um, how lower the intensity of the brush at that point and you can use like uh, photo editing tools or world painter itself to create brushes like these my personal preferred method is um, I will look up a natural feature that I really want to put in a brush um, I can you can probably use get a height map or something import it in a world painter then read Get, get rid of all the noise and all the things that I don't want to have in the brush. Then, uh, so that's sort of the tweaking stage, I guess. And then export it as a brush. So, um, yeah, that's my personal preferred method of uh, creating these brushes. And uh, you can you can do it completely within Wall Paint yourself even. Um, I put a tutorial uh, quite a while ago on my uh, YouTube. And I will link it as well. So you can read into that as well. Um, so yeah, I guess that is about everything about brushes and how you group them and do absolutely just read these change logs. It's it's quite useful, quite important if you want to really go in depth with uh, World Painter. So um, yeah, that's about everything about custom brushes. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful and have an awesome day.